Uh, more fun with epoxides. In this case, we're ring opening epoxide in the presence of aqueous acid. Uh, this is all going to start by protonation of the, uh, the oxygen, followed by nucleophilic attack with water. And what we should expect at the end of it is a vicinal diol, a 1-2 diol, right? Right next to each other there, yeah? Uh, but what we see is they've, they've shown us. You know, they've shown us we've got uh, a dash and wedge notation here to, to imply the stereochemistry of things. And so uh, we should be consistent with that when we open this guy up, okay? So what I'm going to do, you know, we have an 8-carbon chain here. I'm just going to come over to... Uh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this. Boop. And then I'm just going to do a little copy-paste action here. Copy and paste. Pasting. Oh, beautiful. Okay. If we think about what's going to happen here, uh, we are going to open up this epoxide. Yeah, that much we know for sure. Um, and in doing so, uh, whatever face, you know, whichever side we attack on, it's going to approach from the opposite face. So if we're going to attack at this carbon here, that means that the stereochemistry is going to be inverted at this carbon. So why don't we just go ahead and break this dude open here. Okay, I'm just going to just going to grab him, put him up here. Okay, and then I know that the outcome of this is going to be that I introduce another alcohol at the end of it all right here. Okay, now oh, what's going on here? Let's just put a bond there. Okay, lovely. Okay, as I said though, because we're going to get inversion of stereochemistry at this, this carbon where we chose to make the, the substitution occur, well, to reflect that, I'm going to come up here and grab this, and I'm just going to make this pointing the opposite of how it was. That will result in inversion of stereochemistry for me in a very straightforward way. And that is the solution to this problem.